this video is to show uh, color correcting in the metric color uh, and I'm, I'm starting with a flat you know flat some flat footage this isn't even as flat as what comes out of a, a black magic or red camera when they're shooting in raw raw footage is very flat there's very there's no black and there's no white it's just gray all the way through um, and uh, so this is this is actually high contrast compared to what you'd get from those uh, and I'm not shooting raw I set my settings a little bit warm and a little bit um, flat because it prevents and that's the same reason that they do it in the high-end cameras is to prevent losing any detail in the extremes so we have detail in our blacks and we have detail in our whites and uh, it just helps so now the first thing I do is I'll grab the uh, little eyedropper tool here the white balance selector I'll go to where I think it should be white and click and if you click it and it's not right you can always go click someplace else but I think this is fairly close to real those are the colors that we had uh, and then you can you know you can change your exposure um, you can change your contrast you can you know obviously there's all, all these things you can change uh, double clicking on any of these will put them back or if you change a bunch of them and you don't want to go clicking through all of them you can just hit the reset button here and that'll reset that so that section so this is just your um, and this is called basic correction so you've got your basics right here uh, and you can get that done quickly that's that brings it you know kind of close you've still got uh, the contrast to worry about what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to for a LUT the one of the LUTs that came with um, we'll try this one first see what that does it's not bad right there um, I'm gonna try the Kodak on. Uh, what I'm doing is clean Kodak NDR um, uh, and then you, I, what I did was this clean straight NDR but I'm going to try the Kodak just to see the difference what it does uh, it gives you a little more color in there I actually like the Kodak better but you can try you know a bunch of these I happen to like the clean uh, I like this right here so anyway that's it I just did those couple things it took me you know two minutes and we've got color the other thing about this is once you've colored one clip you can copy that um, I only imported the one clip because I was just doing a, a sample but let's just take this over here oh I didn't do that right <laughs> um, I'm holding the option key I'm on a Mac and clicking and dragging and that copies the uh, thing you can also just you know copy and, and then copy it and then uh, paste it wherever your uh, wherever your cursor is when you hit command B it will just paste the whole thing but now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take this back to none so it's got no uh, here I'm going to take these back to not to zero by double clicking and I have nothing else changed so uh, now we have our clip back to the way it was so this is here we'll put these together just kind of put them together and then we'll um, we can go back and forth as soon as this thing catches up my computer's a little bit slow but you can see the before and after color wise um, in just that short time so it's it's uh, very very quick and simple to get your colors where you want them now the next thing is um, uh, because I've I've done that now I can take this clip here and just copy it as normal command C to copy but then when I go to paste I'll click on this clip this is the un uncorrected clip if I use option B I can paste my um, attributes and all I want is the metric color doesn't volume it doesn't really matter we don't have any volume changes in this whatever so anyway just click there and um, your clip has the same exact color correction as the clip before it now. So your uh, so all you need to do is color correct one clip and then apply it to the rest of them. 
and it should be all the same. They're all shot in basically the same lighting. If you want to go scene by scene, uh, you can you can color correct them that way. Just make uh, uh, you know fine tune whatever. Um, but seriously, it's it's uh, fairly simple. It just takes a couple minutes and you're done. So um, I hope that helps and enjoy it.